Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I'm reviewing the Quam Z PH1 GAN charger, which can also be used as a hub. When the company contacted me to review this, I wasn't really interested because it's just a charger. People don't really need to watch reviews before they buy chargers. But then I saw it has HDMI and Ethernet, so maybe this is something worth looking at. And just to give you the bottom line up front, this works well as a GAN charger with power delivery up to 65 watts. But the USB hub functionality or features are quite limited, especially for video output and data transfer. The ports on this side are USB-C with USB 3.1 speeds. This has power delivery up to 60 watts and this port is meant to be connected to computers. And this is a HDMI 1.4 port which can output 4K at 30 Hz. It cannot output 4K 60 Hz, so that's one limitation here. And this is Ethernet 100 megabits per second. And this is USB-A with USB 2 transfer speed, so Transferring files with this port is going to be quite slow. And on this side, we have another USB-A. This is only for charging and the power delivery is up to 24 watts. So this cannot be used for data transfer. And this USB-C is only used for charging. This cannot be used for data transfer and this cannot output video. And this has power delivery up to 65 watts. On the back here, this is the power input and the weight is 226 grams. One thing I like about this charger is this is a tabletop charger. A tabletop charger gives you access to the charging ports from your table, so this is extremely convenient. Now the USB-C charging cable that's included is quite short. This is just 40 centimeters and my charging port on the laptop is actually on the left side, so I have to move this over. Let's look at this setup that I have here. So this Windows laptop is connected to the charger with this USB-C video cable, which is my own cable. I have to use that cable because the included cable does not transmit video and there are no video cables included with the charger. So if you want to use HDMI connection, you have to get your own HDMI cable, which I have one here that's connected to the charger, which is connected to this laptop. So I am able to output video through the charger and this is 4K 30 Hertz. One use case for this charger is it can let you connect your computer to two external displays. For example, now I'm using HDMI connected to the charger. I can also connect another HDMI to another display. The maximum power output for this charger is 65 watts, so this should provide enough power to charge tablets as well as low-powered laptops. In other words, non-gaming laptops. If you use this port, it's 60 watts. If you use this port, it's 24 watts. This is 65 watts. If you use these two ports, it will be 65 watts distributed between these two. If you use these three ports, it will be 45 watts and 24 watts. All right, to conclude, this works fine as a charger. Just note the limitations with the USB-A, USB-2 transfer speeds, 4K 30Hz video output with the HDMI port, and Ethernet is nice if you happen to need Ethernet. And if you need a USB hub that has faster transfer speeds and more video output options, go with the Quam Z H1 USB hub that they are also selling on their website. So yeah, if you guys are interested to get this, check out the link that I have for you in the video description below. I hope this review is useful. See you again.